Right, so today is the next part in the DVD collection series. But before we get into today's part, I just want to gloss over, well, address a few things. Number one, that series I was talking about, about doing the in-depth reviews of Doctor Who DVDs, um, is going to hopefully happen soon. I am currently in the process of making notes about the first video, uh, which is, of course, the first release. Um, I'm trying to make it as in-depth depth as possible. Basically, this first one is going to be as in-depth as I put dare, as I, as I would go. So then I want you to sort of say at the end of that video, that was a bit too much, or that was about right, or maybe turn it down t slightly, you know, just so I can get a feel of how much detail you guys want. Uh, second thing, the podcast with me, Alfie and Lennon, is at its third episode up now, so if you uh, didn't subscribe to it already, or you haven't heard about it, and you think you'd be interested, please do go check it out. Uh, we're quite happy with the way these those three have turned out. Uh, we're loving making them. They're actually they're, it's really fun. So basically, if you like our live streams of us through just having a laugh, that's what that is. But it's an hour and a half, hopefully every week of it. Uh, so it also means this video can be, channel can be a little bit more serious as well. So yeah, go check them out. We uh, talked about it is just Doctor Who as well. I just want to add there'll be a link in the description to the channel. Please do check it out. It would mean a lot to us. Anyway, um, as you can see, these DVDs we covered last episode. I removed them so we can see what is under here. Now this is DVDs I rarely watch now. Okay, so. There's a reason some of these are a bit odd. Up here we have all four Drive the Unpicked films. That fourth one was not brought by me. Uh, that was brought by my, by my brother. But I thought let's keep them all in one place. Uh, so that's what they are. Um, this fourth, I haven't seen, I didn't watch this fourth one because you see him. Yeah, that's the reason. I don't really give a shit about that. These three films have good childhood memories with me. I quite liked them when I was a kid. I was, like most people, when they were my age, back in like 2012, 13, I was a big fan of the books. So, uh, yeah, the film's all right. This, that was a bit of an odd one. It had some good moments in, but, uh, yeah, I think it's a good trilogy of films. Here we have Chicken Run with no case because, well, it does have a case and we know cover. Um, it's a good Armand film. I uh, haven't seen it in a while. Here we have the Lego movie, which I liked when it came out when I was, a, I think I was probably 11, but now I just think it's a bit of a shit film. <laughs> the reason why it's been an idea. The Peculiar Adventures of Hector. This is something I got given in primary school. I think it was in reception. Everyone in the class got one. And it's it's like six episodes of a of road safety. But it's really weird. Like, it's... I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think how to describe it then. He kind of... He has visions of stuff. And it helps him with road... It's really weird. Um, I've not watched it in a long time. But as you can see, it's by Hardman. So uh, therefore, can't be that bad. Uh, it was, it was, it, it's actually all right. I think. Oh, God, goodness. Monsters Inc. Uh, a childhood film of mine. This is the thing I brought. Oh, I had when I when I was a kid. The DVD. I probably, yeah, I think it is on Blu-ray. Uh, yeah, it's a childhood film. Probably my favourite Pixar film, or possibly second to a film I'm going to go over in a moment. Uh, this is the second series of Mister Men. Um, yeah, this is again a childhood DVD. I quite like Mister Men. I don't think many people hate them. And yeah, this is the old 70s television thing with uh, Arthur Lowe, also known as Captain Mannering. So, there we are. Aladdin. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I have some of these. These have probably just been obtained by people just throwing out DVDs and me as a kid going, oh, I love that. Tomorrowland, uh, a fairly recent Disney film with George Clooney. It's alright. It's interesting, I guess, is a way of putting it. Um, it's not sort of a standard Disney film. Um, but it's quite interesting, you know, it's it's a cool thing. Toy Story 1 and 2, again, some of the best, well, these again are in the running for my favourite Pixar film, uh, especially the first one, these are just absolute classics. And this is also available on Blu-ray. It's like, so yeah, I've brought this, why would I go out to buy the Blu-ray straight away? They're a lot. Anyway, yeah, they're quite nice, it's quite a nice uh, set that as well, one DVD thick, doesn't take up too much space. The Hurried Henry film. Um, when I was a kid, uh, when this came out, I was really into Mario Henry. Uh, it was that thing that I really liked when I was a kid. So, uh, this film kind of came at the right time. Uh, now, I haven't watched it in a long time, but I remember it being alright as a live... Not a lot. Uh, what would be the word? Uh, as a um, real-life adaptation. It's got some quite big names in which I've learned what they are... Well, what they did later in life, like Richard E. Grant... For one, uh, it's got Noel Fielding in, you know, quite big names. <laughs> and Dick and Dom and that, although I didn't know what they I knew who they were when it came out. Yeah, it's, it's an alright film. Toy Story 3, well, I think we know what's happened there. Uh, oh, no, it's an alright 
Pixar film. Not the best, but it's alright. Cars, a lot of people don't like this one, but it was one of my childhood films, so I'm never going to hate it. Um, I think Lennon likes this film a lot, a lot as well. Um, <laughs> I think only three people will get what I mean by that. Uh, Ratatouille, never watched it. Not going to lie, never watched it. I should do, probably. It's a Pixar film. But yeah, I just never watched it. Um, I don't even know how I got this DVD, to be honest. Uh, I just appear to have obtained it. Uh, the other than the Chipmunk films. Uh, the first one's very funny. Uh, even today, I'd still probably watch that. The second one's okay. Less likely to probably watch that one again. The third one... Eh. Oh. So it's like, uh, yeah, all right, it's all right. Oh wait, that's another thing's fun. And uh, I was all right. I mean, after the second one, you could probably just leave them. To be honest, if you were thinking about watching them, uh, there's they're nothing special. And uh, now, before we get into any more DVDs, here is three series of Dynamo. Uh, I'd they were 50p each, and I thought, well, I like Dynamo. When I watched it on telly, I thought, why not have episodes on demand, in a way? And then here's Transformers 4. Like I said, DVDs that I rarely will watch. Uh, these are Childhood DVDs as well. <laughs> Fucking hell. I forgot about these. Uh, these are Charlie and Lola DVDs. I remember buying these when I was a... Well, I didn't even buy them. They were brought for me. Yeah. The hell. And then this is another one. Um... Yeah, I don't know what to say about them. I completely forgot. I thought that they had got rid of them. Well, I'd got rid of them. Eh. Well, there you go. I don't. Yeah, it's, like I said, some of these details I forgot I even had. Nemo, probably this is is either this or Monster Inc. is my favorite Pixar film. Just from when I was a kid. Yeah, this is a two disc set. Uh, I've never watched any special features on Pixar films. I don't think. Or am I done on this one actually? Um, possibly. But yeah, Nemo's a cool film. I don't remember this. Oh no, with Yeradu. Eh. It's just a kid's film, innit? Uh, the Incredibles. Never watched it much as a kid because I never really had the DVD. I think this is at my nan's, but I've obtained it since. Uh, but of course, it is a lot of people's favourite Pixar film, and rightly so because watching it is a, it is a great film. Uh, so I'm, I'm not. I doubt I'll see the second one in the cinema because, like, you know, I'm not. I mean, I didn't even go see Monsters Inc. or Finding Dory in the cinema. And they're my preferred Pixar films because the way I see it, that is just that is money grabbing. I, you know, those three films should have just been left because sequels will rarely be better than the originals. And I mean, rarely. It happened a couple of times. It is Empire Strikes Back, possibly Last Crusade slash Temple of Doom, and maybe Terminator Two. But even so, I prefer the very first one to all of those films. But th those are examples, you know. Of when a sequel is, how you have a strong argument to when it's better. I can't see Pixar or not. I mean, I saw Monster University and Finding Dory, and they would just Monster University was the better out of the two. To be fair, that film was okay, but I just didn't like Finding Dory. Uh, well, you can read up. They are Tracy Beaker things. Um, I think these were for my brothers, possibly, and I just opted put them here because he probably had, I think I filled his room with DVDs anyway which I'll go over anything in his room not in his room but I'll explain what's in there that you'd be interested in yeah I think this is just some random Tracy Beaker stuff moving on <laughs> uh, happy birthday Mr Bean this is a sort of a uh, best of Mr Bean animated series and live action my first Mr Bean DVD so that's why I kept it this is another version of the South Park film, but you notice the other one was a box. This is a, just a standard DVD. This is what a spare disc. That is every Mr. Bean, uh, in, which is in both films, all four volumes, so all the VHS stuff, and then all the original six, well, all the original animated series stuff, even though technically not all the episodes were released on DVD. I don't know why I know that. And then over there we have the three uh, volume number seven, eight, and nine of the animated series. There's been quite a few since, I think, uh, which I'd be interested in getting because Mr. Bean you know, is probably the one of the most influential childhood characters there ever was for me. You know, it really sort of... It explained to me, this is what good comedy is. And especially the live-action stuff, watching the VHS of my nan's really good childhood memories of that. Of, uh, you know, if I cannot watch that swimming pool uh, episode without thinking of that blue VHS, because they were, they were linked in my mind. 
like um would be an example like some people can't watch but would you know every time they you see uh, star wars a new hope or empire strikes back they see that um poster in their head i see the color the, the blue vhs every time the pool men uh, episodes mentioned uh, the animated series itself is okay um I think these, I, I can't remember watching that one. I remember that one was actually quite good. I think I watched it twice. I've seen it twice, so as I say. And I don't remember much about that one either. But I think they were okay. Um, Rowan Atkinson must have had the idea, or someone must have mentioned it to him, because they, they, they were different, to say the least. Um, but I still prefer the original animated series stuff, because I remember watching that every sort of morning or so as a kid. Anyway, I can't, I'm going to struggle to reach this out. So that's Matilda the film. Yeah, it's alright. Harry the Harry Hill film. It was funny when I watched it the first time as a kid, but now it's in it. Uh, Star Wars in concert. It's just a Star Wars concert. <laughs> and then here is a uh, thing from the sun about Star Wars villains and that. And it's all about episode, and it's episode 3 promotion and that kind of stuff. That's a CD case. Um, yeah, uh, that is about it for this. So we have to move on to here. So, these are empty things. This is an alien ant farm thing. A metal hammer. And then this is my selection of discs. So I'm just going to have to move that. So, some of these are copied discs from stuff I already own. Um, but, but to give them my room. So, we have Bottom Live 2003. Uh, another version of Alan Carr's Spexy Beast. Uh, there's a reason this hasn't got the box because, well, he's a. Yeah. And there's been a, there's been offensive for effect, and there's been a complete dick. Uh, disc one of season fourteen of South Park. These are some spare discs. Uh, uh, these have just been obtained from buying stuff again uh, with better versions and that that kind of thing. Or some of these don't work, but um, keep them anyway. Two Fairy Life, Top Gear, the challenges, and I'm just going to remove this second disc uh, because it doesn't need explaining. It's just a thing about primary school. Um, Iron Maiden, James Beach, I can't read that. This is a Iron Maiden gig, which was on YouTube, which I put onto a DVD. Um, but I can't remember what the name was. It was in New York. And, uh, yeah. And that doesn't work. Return to Oz. I'm going to have to do that because I'm struggling to reach. So, yeah, Return to Oz. The Snowman. Royal Rumble plus others. A double a Wii game and Madagascar 3 Ice Age 4. Those are just some films which maybe friends had and that gave us uh, so we could watch them and that kind of thing. That's what they are. And then, of course, others are just discs I now own. Uh, so if I just do that. This is, must be enjoyable to watch me put discs away. Yeah. So what we're going to do minutes. Um I ain't gonna finish this episode, but I completely try. Okay, I'm not gonna rip these out, but we have Space Balls, a very funny film. Actually I'm gonna try and finish it. Blazing Saddles, funny film, and Command Two Movie Set, both funny films. Team America. I may have gone through some of these actually, uh, thinking about it, because they've been moved. Don Kirk, it's a cool war film. Book Thief, thing went over that. Wizard of Oz, it's a classic. Ghostbusters 1, really good. Ghostbusters 2, not as bad as everyone says, but still no nothing on one. Observe and report. Quite a funny comedy film. Night at the Museum. Good childhood memories. Quite like it. Daddy Daycare. Random thing I picked up. Turned out to be quite funny. Uh, Ace Ventura Pet Detective. What more needs to be said? Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. This one's not bogus. This is absolutely excellent, dude. Small Soldiers. Weird film from the 90s. Kind of like Toy Story, but more violent. Really cool film. Jackass's Bad Grandpa. Really funny. Great thing to watch with your mates. Spy. Never was seen it. Just uh, was brought. I think my brother brought it and never watched it. Men in Black 1. Very funny. Men in Black 2. Still very funny. Green Street. Brilliant football fighting film. Really good story behind it. Genuinely characters you care about. Independence Day Special Edition. That's what I need to say. Planet of the Apes. Tim Burton thing. Bit shit. Dumb and Dumber. Very funny film. Dumb and Dumber 2. Nowhere near as bad as everyone says. It is actually quite funny. Halloween. Great horror film. The Wicker Man. Not watched it yet. Children of the Damned. Brilliant film. Great Iron Maidens. Great Iron Maidens song. Robot Chicken Star Wars 1. Best one out of the all. Robot Chicken Season 1. Really funny. 2. Really good. 3. Eh, hit and miss. I believe we're done. I believe I've now gone through all the DVDs I own. However, there are some in my brother's room, but I'll explain what you'd be interested in there. 
all those wrestling DVDs for you older fans that you've ever seen, they're all in there, plus others. Uh, all the James Bond films that you've not seen, because I do own every single one, they're all the DVDs that make the 007, they're in there. All my old Simpsons compilation DVDs are in there. Uh, the Hunger Games films, all five series of, series of Wolf Blood, uh, Star Wars Rebels DVDs. Um, what else is in there? Think, 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 think. think. Harry Potter films, although you've. Uh, oh no, actually, yeah, all the Harry Potter films I think in there, all the ones that you've not seen here. So of course I've got my Blu-ray box set, but uh, there's some more, in, or well, all the others in there, plus all my other DVD versions because I had all the two discs on DVD. Anyway, uh, I think we're pretty much that's it. Uh, oh, uh, Grown Ups and Grown Ups Two, and that's about it for what's in my brother's room. Um, and I believe we're done. Oh wait, no, we're not. <laughs> Hang on. Right. Let's get this done. So that is every single Top Gear DVD released in the UK. That's what you're looking at there. One of my favourite programmes of all time. It is absolutely hilarious. You can't beat it. And if you think I'm joking there, that is every single one in the UK. There are, I'm missing seasons that weren't released in the UK because of what Jeremy Clarkson said, a few naughty things in them. So they were never released. Um, but that is every single one there. Indiana Jones films. I kind of went over them just in the episode, didn't it? First one's best one, second one's good, third one's really good, fourth one's not as bad as everyone says. Not brilliant, but it's interesting, and it's worth a watch, definitely. And uh, I do believe we are done there. A uh, few other things about Top Gear, I guess. Uh, the best DVDs here are that season, that box set, that box set, that box set, that one, that special, that perfect road trip. 50 Years of James Bond Cars, and what else is really good? Uh, that box set, which is The Great Adventures 5. Uh, yeah, if you may think, uh, well, where's The Great Adventures 2? Because you need the Vietnam special. That is the Vietnam special just there. That is literally everything you can get of Top Gear in the UK. So, thank you guys for watching this series. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, please hit the like button and all that other good, great stuff. Uh, you guys seem to have really liked it. The views have been phenomenal in this series, can I just say. Uh, so this is this series done then. You have now seen every DVD that I own in my room, and I've explained anything about it you've been interested in. I hope you've enjoyed. I will see you guys for the next one. So uh, until then, take care. Goodbye.